Hey guys, today we're gonna go to Galata Tower, Teksim, and Dolmabachi Palace. Um, so we're just like in the hotel room getting ready, and yeah, we're gonna wait for like our Uber later, and then we'll be on our way. It's like a 20 minute drive, something like that. But I'm wearing my new Rick and Morty top that I got like on the first day, so because it's it's all also it's also sunny today, which is cool. So yep. Yeah, so what I'm wearing, I'm wearing that with like denim jeans and like some like cargo pants and like some Puma trainers. But yeah, uh, I'll see you probably on the road when I when I see some cool stuff. It's a cool fountain, isn't it? It's got like some pebbles in it. We've just arrived now at the Galata Tower um, area. We just got dropped off in the street behind us. See, we're in Galata right now um, and in front of us on this side sorry I'm just ripping out my pop socket you see there's some shops here and we're literally on the seafront and it's really nice weather really really nice weather today so yeah sorry it's just really loud behind me sorry oh my god the guy's back with his cleaning thing but salt me he has another restaurant we've already went oh my god you can see my reflection haha <laughs> but we've already been to salt Bay's. Um, food place. I am just dying. <gasps> Look, there's more shops down here. And like more shops down there as well. All by the seafront. Um, but I haven't found a single game shop, but I did some research and there's a shop called Overgame, um, which is in a mall. I can't remember what it's called, but we're gonna go to the mall tomorrow. So we're just gonna chill here today. <gasps> That's so pretty. So we're on the course now. Oh, we can't cross the yellow line. But wow, we were on the water yesterday. It's really, really, really bright. But all this is all like shopping and stuff like all down there, all different shops. But it's absolutely gorgeous today. Like the wind is just perfect and the water is so beautiful today. I mean, the water is beautiful regardless. But yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm really squinting. Like, my eyes are like fully shut because I can't see. We were walking on the shoreline and we just like turn and then we just get this view. Stunning. So on the shoreline, it's all restaurants and stuff. But then on the inside, which is where we're heading now, it's all different shops and stuff. Like you can see Adidas over there. Um, and like all these other shops and stuff. Oh, I see Burger King, love and life. But yeah, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Absolutely stunning. So we got some like loads of like sweets and stuff, like Turkish style sweets, I don't know if you can tell. But then there's a woman who like loved us and she gave us like all free samples. <laughs> I was like, so I was eating it, I don't want that. But uh, I got the vanilla, it's like, what is it? Square caramel with vanilla. Square caramel with vanilla. That's the one that I got. So yeah, gonna eat it. Okay, taste test. That is really nice. Mmm. Do you know, okay, for my British people out there, do you know inside of an eclair? You get that caramel inside of the eclair. That's literally what this tastes like. Really nice. Oh, I love it. And then when we were leaving the shop, she was like, bye, miss you. And I was like, miss you. Proper cute. But yeah, I'm gonna eat all of this. I'm gonna shove it all in my mouth, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> There's a cat inside the shop. So cute. So we've reached the end of the uh, little pier. Over there, can you see, where's my finger? This building right here, that's Dolmabashi. That's where we wanna go. Because they have like these gates or something and then the gates come out to the water and I'm walking really close to the edge. Feeling yeah, a bit edgy, what can I say? But then look at that. Like the architecture and the landscapes and stuff in Turkey is absolutely beautiful. We've just reached like the beginning of the palace. If you can see it, it's like right there. Um, it's quite of a, oh, this is the entrance side. 
and then that's the exit side. So we're gonna go on this side. There is a massive stadium over there and then that tall tower behind it is a hotel. But yeah, it's a massive stadium and I guess we're in a queue to enter. <laughs> I don't know we're gonna be in a queue, not gonna lie. Yeah, oh, it's absolutely roasting. Look at that sunshine. But yeah, we've walked as well, so we're like all heated up from the walk. So we've just gone through security. Security was like behind me in that little box where you have to like put your bags on like a conveyor belt and like anything metal, like rings or bracelets or even watches for that matter. Um, so now we're just queuing up. I'll show you what's behind me. You can see that's the beginning of the palace. And then all of this queue is to get tickets to go into the palace. Um, but yeah, it looks absolutely insane from my view right now. Let me show you. So this is the beginning part of the palace. People are going in, people are just chilling around, uh, queuing up for the ticket play, what, place, <laughs> place in front of me. And then on the ocean, there's more uh, of the palace. And then there's like a gate that I mentioned earlier, but I guess we'll get there when we get our tickets because there's a long queue and there's like four different lines. Can you see it's like four different lines of getting your ticket. So we got our tickets. Can you see the palace? It's just the gate. Um, but yeah, there's like lots of like, it's proper like tourist place, which is really cool because everyone's like speaking English and like French and Germany, Germany, German, it's proper cool. But yeah, this is the entrance. Can you see? Um, let's go. Absolutely boiling. I was going to bring my coat today as well. Thank God I didn't. And I only brought my denim jacket because I think I would have melted. <gasps> you need to see what I'm seeing right now. So I don't know if you can see, but there's like fountains and like more of the palace. Like these are the walls, nice and pink. So I think the history behind this is uh, Sultan. Oh. Wait, is it Ottoman? The Ottoman. This was his palace. Okay. I guess we'll find out. We're going to a painting museum as well. So this is the garden. Oh, that, that's those are the gates I was telling you about. Those are the gates I was telling you about. It's nice and breezy here. Yeah? Sorry that I can't really get a good view in front of me. I'm short, so I can't really shove my arm up very high. <laughs> but this is the highest. Can you see? Because I couldn't. I had to lift my arm all the way up. Oh wow, the gates. I wish I could live here. Oh, look at the floor, it's so nice. But yeah, I could definitely like live here. Do you know what I mean? So we just took photos next to the fountain where those, those people are because there's the palace is in the background, but it's super nice, super peaceful. People are queuing up at the gates because you have to take like, um, like photos there and stuff. But uh, whilst we were taking photos in front of the fountain, there was a big queue. Like a lot of people want to take photos in the same place that we did. So yeah, I had to do it like really fast as well. I was like, okay, one, two, three, go. So it was like really fast. But it's nice to have, have like a picnic here or anything, but to get, a, to get through, it's like 150 Turkish lira. Yeah. And then, so imagine paying 150 Turkish lira just to have a picnic. Do you know what I mean? It's not a bit, it's not worth it, but through here. You can see the palace. This was in the background of the fountain. Oh, I feel like royalty, not gonna lie. I feel like royalty. So we're gonna enter. They have like these nice little oh, the lion statues. Yep. We're getting close. We're getting close to the gate now. Over there. Just have a long queue. I thought it would be a, a lot longer, to be honest. But yeah, <laughs> I think it's funny how people's prams baby prams are just all there but yeah we're gonna go take pictures at the gate because there's not a long queue that makes sense just took some photos and uh, there was a couple who spoke English and uh, it was funny because I was like on my knees trying to take pics of my, my sister and my friend and uh, I was just like saying like oh my god I'm on my knees trying to take pictures of you and she comes up behind us and she's like do you want me to take a picture of all three of you and I was like oh yes please so we got some uh, photos I haven't looked at them uh, it's quite as well it was also dark because the sun wasn't um, like facing us 
Uh, but now we're gonna go to another side of the palace to take some more pics. And honestly, this walking back and forth in this heat, it's just not me right now. It's just not. Oh, I have to walk up a little hill as well. Uh, do I look athletic? No. Am I athletic? No, but I will. I will. Sign me up for the Olympics. Just got into the Palace Museum and we have to cover our shoes with plastic. So that's what I've just done now. New fit, what do you think? Uh, Puma, Puma shoes. Is it my pants dirty? <gasps> my pants are dirty. What the freak? So I wasn't allowed to record anything in the palace. There was police at literally every single corner saying no cameras uh, to everyone. But we just exited. Uh, I got some souvenirs, like a magnet and like um, some like souvenir stuff. Uh, and there's another gate behind me. Look at that. These gates are like all around. Um, I forgot the name. I, I keep calling it Gucci Gabbani palace even though it's like Dolma Dol I can't remember the name but we have to wear a mask and like I'm like wearing makeup I'm like because I never usually like wear makeup I'm always like don't want to wear makeup but yeah oh it's a nice breeze it was really like the inside of the palace like we went we walked in all of that and um inside there was like big chandeliers uh I'm leaning on a table uh the big chandeliers tables settings and uh like carpets it shows you like the sultans like where he used to bathe where he slept um and like the valuables that they use so like uh their plates and like jugs and any gifts that they received they received like a horse statue from italy um some gifts from china from all over so it's showing like all the gifts but in each of the gift room it was really dark and then the lights were all just like focused on it so yeah, it was really interesting to see the history behind it. Um, but yeah, I think we're just gonna sit and chill for a bit. It's boiling. I just wanna like sunbathe, to be honest, but I'll probably get sunburned. I should've got some sunglasses. You know what? On the forecast, we looked ahead and it was like snow. Snow. To be honest, it was a bit cloudy on the first couple of days that we did get here. And only yesterday and today, the weather is like gorgeous. Um, but today's weather is way better than it was yesterday. Although yesterday was sunny, it was really windy, but um, today is like warm and it's sunny at the same time. But yeah, we're just gonna walk around for a bit and oh my God, my souvenir bag. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna walk around for a bit. So I'm just sat now on a bench. There's a cafe behind me. We're gonna order drinks, but I've just secured a bench. So we just stopped at a cafe, got a croissant, orange juice, freshly squeezed, um, another croissant with chocolate, orange juice, um, some coffee and like some cookies and macaroons. Woohoo! So we just got to Taksim Square, it's very busy. There's some shops on the side, like on this side, but it's very, 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 very busy. Woo. You don't even want to know what we had to do to get here. We had to literally walk up the steepest hill ever. It was absolutely horrendous. That looks really pretty though, doesn't it? Oh, I'm walking on a tram line. I didn't even, didn't even know. I'm so knackered. I'm holding about 10 million bags on my arm from Dolmabachi, the palace. It's crazy to think that it's still the same day. I've done so much walking, my little legs cannot handle. But look how busy it is I, don't, I can't really see because the sun is in my eyes so i'm squinting as i'm recording this but yeah this is the square so we're walking down to the gala tower I think it's called but look at how many people are in front of us just casually shopping oh my god I think I've never seen that many people in my life incredible how many people are outside right now and it's almost seven o'clock oh sorry 
it's almost seven o'clock and the, the city is alive. Hey guys, so we are currently in a street food place, just getting like something, uh, like my friend is just getting something to eat. Um, oh, she literally just came here. All of that's for jacket potato. <laughs> All of that for jacket potato. But, um, but yeah, we still haven't even gone to the tower yet and it's like night time. It's like, it's quarter past eight at night. Um, can you hear it? Like there's some people like singing outside and everyone's like cheering her on and stuff like that. So like the environment is very much alive. Um, my social battery ran out about five hours ago. <laughs> Let's be real. But, um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the Galoth Tower, see what that's like, and then head on back home. Don't know when that's gonna be. But it'll be sometime today. <laughs> To be honest, it's a bit like underwhelming. Do you know what I mean? Blackpool Tower is more interesting than this. But it's there. Uh, oh, would you look at that. The little lights. Super busy. There's people everywhere. And there's more stuff down there. But yeah. That's the tower we waited all day to go see. Can you see it changed colour? Oh, it's currently changing, I think. It was just purple, like right now, but I don't know if it's gonna change. I feel like it might change when I stop recording. What a long day. We just got back to the hotel room, absolutely shattered. All of like my bags and stuff are all here. I'm just, I'm just ready to just put my pajamas on and just chill. Yeah, it, all in all, it was a beautiful day. It was beautiful weather. Um, sorry, I took my shoes off and I, I, I think I went down like an inch. Uh, but yeah, it was beautiful weather, beautiful scenery, beautiful environment, atmosphere was amazing. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope that I'll see you guys tomorrow with another vlog. Bye guys.